But first tonight, we have some breaking news concerning Paul Erickson. Erickson is the Vermilion native linked to the Russian woman Maria Butina, who is in prison for being a secret agent. Kelloland's Angela Kennedy has the details. Well, Kelloland investigates learned that Paul Erickson was back in Sioux Falls in recent weeks. Now we know he has been indicted by a federal grand jury on 11 counts of wire fraud and money laundering. These charges have nothing to do with his alleged ties to Butina and the South Dakota company Bridges LLC that he started with her. According to the feds, from 1996 to August of 2018, Erickson allegedly schemed to defraud money from many victims while operating Compass Care and investing with dignity. Erickson is accused of lying to people in South Dakota and elsewhere to get investors to give him money for developing land in the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota. He's accused of keeping the money for himself instead. Kevill Van News stopped by Erickson's Sioux Falls Compass Care office in December of 2017, but no one was there. And people in the neighboring offices only saw him about once a month. According to an annual report on file, Compass Care is a senior living housing development and operation. Kelloland Investigates did find several judgments against Compass Care from 2003 and 2004, adding up to more than $150,000. Erickson's girlfriend, Butina, reportedly spoke to investigators about Erickson in December of 2018. We've repeatedly tried to talk with Erickson over the past year. The only time we got through to him was over his apartment intercom. I asked him then about reports that he was trying to arrange a meeting between President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Oh, I, yeah, it didn't exactly happen that way. But. And while the federal indictment is related to Erickson as a businessman, we don't know if there are any political connection with these latest charges. All right, thanks a lot, Angela.